Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, October 29th, 2019. I hope yesterday went well. Um, let me know in the comments what happened, what was the day like, and anything else that you may want to share. Um, today, it's a little bit of a rainy day out there today. <clears throat> so we'll see what the energy for the day is. And hopefully you've got your week planned out pretty well and you know exactly where you're going to be going for the week. And you've got some clear objectives of some things that you might want to do for the weekend. Or at least your next couple of days off whenever you might be off. Not everyone has Saturday and Sundays off. I understand that. I personally don't. I usually have Friday and Saturdays off, which works out pretty well for my schedule and what I like to do. So I think these cards are pretty much where they want to be as far as shuffle goes. And we can put them down and see what's going on. Okay. So let's put this deck together. There's one. And there's two. And finally, the third pile. And there we go. Okay. So let's see which card do I want to pull from today? I'm kind of really drawn to the center um, pile. I've been drawn to that since I actually put it down, so I'm thinking this is where we need to be. All right, the Hierophant, a major arcana. So let's talk a little bit about this, um, and let's see where uh, the energy for the day is going to take us. So to start off with, like I like to do, <clears throat> let's come up with some words and some keywords to keep in mind for today. <clears throat> and let's see. As we look at the hair effect, there's a lot of different types of things that pop up. Um, one of the things is institutionalization or institutions, um, traditions, you know, so institutions such as schools, churches, religions, anything organized of that nature, um, unions even, um, Tradition is all about just that, you know, doing the same thing that um, have been handed down to us from um, generation to generation. Um, traditional values comes into mind. Um, being conventional, conforming to the norm. Marriage, of course, because you can see uh, that's almost um, quite the wedding type setting. Um, commitment, um, religion, obviously, beliefs. Knowledge sharing, which is kind of a cool one. My favorite one is actually that. And whenever you see keys in that sort of thing in um, a tarot card, it's usually an indicator of knowledge. So when we look down at the meaning for the day, the general meaning for the day, some of the things to consider is you may have a mentor out there today or you may be asked to be a mentor today to provide some wisdom, some guidance, some um, maybe even spiritual advice, you know, that sort of thing. If it's you and you're being the mentor, then congratulations, because that's a big responsibility, number one. But number two, you got to be really special for someone to feel they can trust you enough to give them guidance. And so that's a very, very cool thing to have happen. Now, if you are in a situation right now and you're feeling kind of stuck, you're feeling kind of don't know which way to go, that sort of thing, this energy of today is suggesting to you to seek someone out to be your mentor on the situation. Someone that you trust, someone that you know, and someone that you know will give you straightforward um, advice without any bias. <clears throat> so it's definitely a cool card for a Tuesday. Some other things to consider is um, the Hierophant card can also represent um, economic health, um, where we are right now, where we need to be, what do we need to do to get there? Maybe helping somebody else that might be in need of some help. Maybe seeking some help if it's us that's actually in need of some help. Um, the other aspect is conformity, conforming to the beliefs um, or the traditions or the values and rules of the Institute. So it's probably not a good day to be a rule breaker at work if you know what I mean. Um, and finally, of course, it does actually mean 
doing things from a religious standpoint, whether it be religious um, rituals, whether it be um, going to a mass or a ceremony, depending upon what your religious beliefs are. And it could also mean partnering up with somebody, whether it be um, traditional marriage, maybe it's actually considering whether or not you want to get engaged or even moving in together. All those things are all part of what um, we want to think of the energy for today. From a love and relationship standpoint, it's a, pretty much a commitment card, meaning that um, if you're with someone and you've been wondering if they're committed to you, if you should commit to them, the energy of this card suggests that yes, this is um, a relationship for you to be more committed in, to move forward in, to move towards that new milestone or that new um, step. Um, so congratulations on that if that's what you're involved in. <clears throat> From a money and career standpoint, this is a great time to get involved in team projects. So at work, if you have projects that you have to get done, this is a perfect time to work with a team to get your know, things moving forward. This is a good time to help your team. Maybe you need to be the mentor of your team, or perhaps your team has someone on it that is willing and able to be a strong mentor to you. So that being said, you want to really consider that. This is also a card that tells you to really avoid any unconventional methods at work. Do what's tried and true. Don't seek shortcuts. Don't turn around and break rules. Don't turn around and ignore things. Just be conventional, be conforming, and do exactly what's expected out of you in order for you to get where you want to be, both today as well as in your career path. So, I think this is a great reading for today, a good Tuesday card. I do hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to reading you all again tomorrow. And tomorrow's October 30th, Halloween Eve, or Samhain Eve. I hope you guys are all prepared for the 31st. And until I see you again, be safe, be well, and be blessed.